I we promise Brata after this, then it's all gonna be so easy for him. So you guys, you, you girls, better make my promise worth it. Okay, okay, Brata. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have a gadgeton, and this cue card says nothing about gadgeton, so I'm just gonna talk. Um, we have two showcase of gadgeton today. One is on. Please remind me, augmented reality. No cue card. When? When? No cue card. Augmented reality. And the other one is on vibrator. Yeah, that's right. Vibrator. Yeah. Yeah. A vibrator, you know. Yeah, but it doesn't look like a dildo. So you can safely bring it around everywhere. So we're going to bring the first Gadgeton showcase. Peter, please come to the stage and bring all the shenanigans for the augmented reality. Round of applause. Is it Peter? Oh, not Peter. Okay. So you are Ando, Andalan Indonesia. Yes, that's Ando. Okay, you can. All right, cool. No problem. Cool. All right. Good evening, everyone. All right. How's the dinner? Was it good? Good. Everyone had a, had a good amount of booze, so you guys are still focused on today's uh, tonight's gadgeton, right? All right. Cool. So before we start, can I have the moving head to direct on this side, please? On this two on my right. Yeah, the two moving heads, please. All right, while we're waiting for that. Okay, uh, hi everyone, my name is Ando. Um, I'm from Digital Avatar, or DAV, D-A-V. So within the next five minutes onwards, uh, I want to actually take this time to share um, about our development and our latest technology within the media industry. So our group, WIR, has been working in brand business in a lot of years. And also, we're working in creative technology, as you might know, AR and Co., my partner Peter over there. Um, they have been developing thousands of applications so, which enables products um, and throughout brands the years to communicate in a very different way to people. So, um, throughout the years of working on brand and also creative technology, we've also heard certain challenges that brand, own, brand owners basically, basically have. So, I want to drop it down to three things. So, the first one is about how brands can actually engage in a much better way. And, you know, an engagement that can bring into interest and desire to have the product in hand, or even buying it. And not only spreading up awareness and how currently conventional media works. The second one, how can a media can provide a measurable um, placement? Because we know, as we know, digital placement is all measurable. We know that we put that aside, but in ATLs, how can we make medias to be measurable? And the third thing, as we know, in distribution channels, mini market is one of the biggest distribution channels currently in Indonesia. It's growing. But there's a huge but there. Because, not but, but this is but. Um, because, as you know, inside a mini market, when you enter, there's approximately 4,000 types of product inside one, each of the mini markets. And not yet, when you enter, there's quite a lot of promotions from the dividers, the wobblers, the signage, the hanging banners, everywhere. There's just a lot. And there comes a problem where, how can my product be outstanding? So these are three things and how we see we want to come up with solutions. And we come up with Dove. So this is Dove. So if we can have the camera to be on the stage with me. So. This is Dove, Digital Avatar. This is a new media placement that we just launched way back in last August in 2015. It's very new, it's, it's, it's still a baby. And we create this, um, this media placement as a character because we want this media to greet people and to give information to people. So that's why we call this as the world's first measurable one-on-one -on -one interactive media placement because it's able to provide a face-to-face -face interaction between a product and its consumer. And currently, we're launching this in uh, mini markets, which we've installed up to 1,000 devices and currently up and running over nine months. So the reason why this character is unique, because it's able to greet. By greeting, it's able to say, you, Cassini, come over. Because you know, when you enter mini markets, there's just a lot of things, right? So, it's able to greet you by saying, you, Cassini. 
Simple as that. So when a consumer heard that voice, they're going to see, what's this? And we're going to be actually, within the, this is the real size. And inside mini markets, we have signage around, which, which is self-explanatory, where people can actually understand how to interact with Dove with the products which is currently working with Dove. So for example, the consumer take this product, and you just need to put 15 to 20 centimeters on the screen. Is it playing? No. Is it showing over here? No. Supposed to. Um, is there any technicalities or? Yeah. No worries, because we're going to have it over there. So, um, so you just put it on the screen, and you'll find information popping, which is augmented reality. Wow. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm with the okay. mic. Sorry. Yeah. Do you want to help me over here? No. With <laughs> the okay. So this is a touch screen um, function. Also, you can change language. So, for example, if your product has been marketed in touristic area, which they don't understand Bahasa, you want to change it into English or uh, Japan Japanese. It's possible. We're actually making this as a demo because we want to launch the demo in Japan very close, so we create this product uh, information. Other than that, okay, you can have an icon being playing with all the product informations around, and not only that, you can actually provide quizzes or surveys, which every single information will be directly uploaded to our data center. And you can know how many people is actually accessing the survey and what's their answers on it. And if you win the quiz, you can actually have this being redeemed. We have an integrated system with the mini market where you can directly redeem it on, on in real time. Like, let's say, buy one, get one, or a discount, any kind of promotions that you guys are providing for your consumers. And last thing, just another example. So let's say a brand has its ambassador, and you want to put its ambassador aside of TVC, you crop it and put it into this 3D background. It's also possible to make it more interactive so that people are able to be engaged to your brand ambassador and also to your product. All right? Cool. Thank you. So that is Dove. And this is, like, this is actually the new technology that we want to provide in the media industry because we believe by having Dove, we can make product to be more outstanding by meaning outstanding, because we kind of like force people to grab your product, put it in their hands, and interact. While they're interacting, we're able to provide product to be more understandable by its consumers. Understandable by meaning because we provide a focused engagement. This is not only it. This is just a very basic, simple example. We can create much more intense gaming into this application. And by a focused engagement, people are able to have an intimacy with your brand because it's never been provided anywhere else. And uh, thirdly, within the digital era now, we want to see how media can be measured. We want to understand when you're placing your product in the media, in the media placement, how much is the exposure? How many people is actually exposed to your content? Right? I mean, putting aside again the digital, because this is actually an off, located in an offline store. So by having this, we believe that technology should actually escalate in the way how human lives are being run. So we believe that Dove is able to escalate how communication should work. Because we don't want communicate, communication as in informing. We, do, we don't want communication works as in only informing. But we want to make sure that those informations are through to your consumer so they're able to understand your product. So that's a bit sharing from my side. Uh, once again, this is Dove Digital Avatar, and if you want to know more, we're actually back there. Uh, you can experience much more about Dove, about who's actually, we're actually currently running already in the, in the market, and like I mentioned before to you, up to 1,000 stores. Um, we have our early innovators are actually here, Unilever, Ox, which is already running with us now, and uh, other brands. And, uh, and also don't forget, tomorrow we have more thorough discussions about AR and VR is no longer a hype. So if you're interested, we're there at the Arjuna at 3 p.m. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ando.
Thank you very much. So if you want to try this, you can go at the back at the corner over there, right? Okay. Thank you. Oh, th no, I think this is for the next one. Kiki, do you want to be on stage? Oh, I thought she just wants to be on stage, so yeah, well. Okay, so the next one. Um, it's hot topic today, so everybody today does not want to do a discussion at 4 p.m. because they are not sure if they want to be competitive with sex and technology. So, please, uh, Dema is here. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Sorry. So, it's probably the booze. So, can you just step forward, please, here, and let's... I have the mic right here. Oh, Kiki, do you want to go on stage and bring the mic? Okay, no. Okay, so Dema is going to talk about five... How do you pronounce this? Five Bs. Five is five is a stand from uh, this comes from five is for kind of easy. So it's easy to vibrate. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Okay, sure. Do you need a volunteer here? I don't uh, know. Wendy, any takers? No. Yeah. Okay. I see a hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> if they volunteer, will they get that for free? Uh, yeah. I'm just raising a challenge here. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. What? If, if somebody comes up here to volunteer, will they get that for uh, free to take away? I don't know what kind of demo I can do with What? <laughs> no, not sure about that. Oh, I'm not sure yeah. about that. Okay. Okay. Sure. Cool. Please take the stage and explain uh, more about 5Bs. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Five My, name is... uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> My name is Dima, co-founder of 5Bs. 5Bs is the world's first smart vibrator. So the whole idea is I got into uh, sex toys or sexual wellness industry. I used to be in a long distance relationship with my wife. Ooh. And to be honest, uh, for, for, <laughs> for guys, it's pretty easy. But women are a little bit more delicate. So I was kind of looking for long distance intimacy solution, but I couldn't find anything that was easy to use and not invasive. So I thought like, oh, maybe I just created on my own device. It's just for a fun project, right? Uh, and then later on, I started to kind of interested to know what is important for women, right? Uh, uh, so that, that's where I start to learn like uh, for women, it's more about emotion, audio. Uh, it's very different from men. Men is mostly uh, just very visual, like it's on off button, right? You turn it on, then the guys know what to do with it. Is that true, brother? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, I, th I think like uh, initially it's just a fun project. I really started to talk to a lot of people, especially the one in long distance relationship. And I realized like, wow, actually like this product, uh, a lot of people are looking for this product. It's not for kinky stuff, but it's basically to maintain their relationship. So uh, yeah, so, so like we uh, talked to a lot of couples, including like sexologists. And uh, I guess one of the reason like I really uh, decided to uh, quit my job and do this full time. And when the sexologist asked me, like, do you know that more than half of women never attain orgasm, even like they're having sex? Which is like, wow, that's a, uh, a big number, right? And we can uh, we can solve that, like, with this product. A, a lot of people, okay, <laughs> let me explain. Uh, not many people know, like, vibrator was invented as a medical device in the 19th century, right? In the past, women have to go to like they call it hysteria, it's some sort of like a so-called medical condition in the past that uh, hormone imbalance, you have to go to the gynecologist and the gynecologist have to massage the women, one of the best job during that time, I guess. <laughs> so uh, she had so many passion until like he crammed his hand and then that's why he invented like a vibrator. But it's only later on when uh, people using it in the porn movie, adult industry, and a lot of women think like, oh, wow, I don't want to use that. It's from the porn industry, right? And the shape that uh, what a lot of people saw on the movies, right? No, that, that is not the invention. Uh, that's not the real vibrator. The real vibrator is like, it's meant to be like, to do like uh, external stimulation. Well, uh, so, so I decided to quit my job and I do this. So the first product we, do, uh, we did is uh, long distance intimacy. So the video guy, can we play the first video? I uh, just want to see, I uh, want to show how it looks like. Uh, oh, is this okay. safe? Is this, is this NFSW? Or okay. NFW? No? So, oh. yeah. Uh, so this is totally safe. So like we have a chatting system and the girls totally have the control, like whether you want to allow the guys to control it or not, right? So 
<coughs> it is really important Be because like Woo! most <laughs> most guys like just to press the button, right? And uh, with with this chatting system, we want to encourage couples to like communicate, right? Because uh, that is really important for women. So yeah, this is the the first solution that we did, and it was good. So when we talk to long distance couple, they will say it's like shut up and take my money. But when they talk to women who are staying together with a partner or like they are single, they will say like, well, this is cool, but I don't really know how to use it. Oh, oh well, uh, makes sense. And so can you tell me a little bit more on how you use your product? By the way, this happened in, in the US, right? In Asia, there's totally no way I can get this information. <coughs> so uh, a lot of these women, uh, uh, they have been using this product. And then uh, one thing that we found in common is that most of them, they read the novel Fifty Shades of Grey, if you heard about that. And then, uh, we think is like, that true, Wendy? Oh. Uh, <laughs> we, we thought about it like, wow, there's, there's something special about this. And uh, cut the story short, we asked the women, like, what if we can make your fantasy come to life? And then all the women's like, what do you mean, like, fantasy comes to life? Well, you listen to an audiobook, and when the guys say, I'm touching you softly, it will vibrate softly. And when the guys say I'm touching your heart, it will vibrate his heart. So because like audio is like really important for women. So we can play the like, second video. So in this demo, it's kind of the story is in uh, Japanese, but well, you get the whole idea. Ooh, oh, Japanese. Yeah. So we have a marketplace uh, that people can download. So. Yeah. Uh, this thing, it will move by itself. It's automatic. Like even the way we design the product. Okay. By the way, we how we get the design correct is that we talk to a lot of women, right? And of course, like we also consult all the psychologists, like how to make sure like it fit nicely. By the way, this is not to be inserted, right? Um, so what we try to do with this, with the fantasy, is that we try to simulate the real intimacy, where basically women like. Hands free, like, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, the whole thing is like moved by itself. Like, you are not the one that controlling uh, soft, medium, hard. That is like how we differentiate ourselves with other products in the market. So, yeah, that is a fantasy. And then uh, we have a marketplace for women to download different kind of audiobooks, right? And <clears throat> so basically, we have a marketplace, even for all of you here, if you know how to tell a story, like, you can. Record your voice in, and then you can submit, and you can sell your, your fancy, right? So for every download, you will get 50% out of it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so far, all the fantasy that we have, mostly in English, maybe, maybe who knows, whoever here like, want to create a fantasy in Indonesian. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so that is the second product. And then the last one, we kind of uh, have uh, a little bit of prototype, so we haven't like, really doing this. So I think now, every time you read the news about technology, it always says about a uh, chatbot, right? A uh, virtual boyfriend. And w one of the things that inspired me a lot is the movie Her. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's uh, popular in Indonesia. So it's basically like, this guy is dating his app, but it looks so natural. It's, it's like, you don't, you don't feel weird at all. So we thought like, oh, this is pretty cool. So we want to do that too. Uh, can we play video number three with the audio, please? I feel tired. Mm. Massage. Massage me. Connected to a device. Connected. Begin. How about we start slow? Can you feel me with you right now? Faster. <laughs> Surprise me. How about this? <gasps> oh my god. How about this? <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> I love you, him. Yes. This is the, the future. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> so, the intention for 
this product. Okay, guys, don't worry. This is not to replace men, right? <laughs> don't worry about that. Oh, no. Yeah, don't, don't worry about that, right? There's no way like computer can replace a guy. But my intention uh, as a company is like, we want to empower women. Women should be in charge for their own sexuality. Because at the end of the day, sex is part of human basic needs, right? And orgasm, it has a lot of health benefit. But the thing is, yeah, like half of women did, did, did not have an orgasm. So uh, we want to like kind of uh, encourage like to teach men like you, when you want to have intimacy, you need to make sure like your partner also like reach orgasm, right? So if you want to play, like let's uh, both of you having fun. So this is a